refuse to play the what if game. <clears throat> it's day five after my assault and I was supposed to get up at 4 a.m. to travel to the East Coast for a board meeting. And I previously in my life would have done that. I just would have pushed through and put myself through it all even though I wasn't feeling well. And I decided to care for myself and reach out and say, can I just join by Zoom after everything I've been through? And I want to reflect today though on a conversation I had with somebody yesterday who said, what if, what if he actually tackled you and you hit your head? And I've had those what if moments. Anybody who has been through something difficult or traumatic, and I'm not just talking about sexual assault here, everybody. We can all relate to traumatic events in our lives, even if it was a car accident or something. And we can torture ourselves with these what if scenarios. On the one end, it's what if something much worse than what happened happened? Just one little shift of fate. If I had not stood my ground and, and lost my balance and he took me down, like what if, what would he have done if he dragged me into the, I'm not going to play that game and play that movie out. Now, I've started to a few times, just to be clear, like as I was chasing him, what if he turned around? What if he, and I, I've stopped myself. That's not what happened. Stay present in the moment. I look through the windshield and not the rear view mirror and I'm not going to torture myself through movies playing in my head about scenarios that were worse than what I already endured. The other challenge with what if is us beating ourselves up with regrets about what we think we should have done or could have done. And at the time I was like, why didn't I, in the middle of everything I was doing, chasing him, throwing my water bottle, I'm screaming at him, talking to 911, why didn't I take a picture or video of him? I didn't need to because I had such a picture in my head that was very accurate that allowed us to uh, ensure that he was uh, arrested so that he will be held accountable. But I was beating myself up with regret at the time that I should have done this differently or something else differently. I'm also not going to give energy into those regrets of what ifs. Now I've had those feelings, having compassion on yourself when you start to feel them. It's very normal and natural if you've been through something difficult, but just don't feed it. Don't feed it. Don't let it go out of control like a freight train. Be aware of it, have compassion on yourself, bring it back to the present. That's not what happened. I did what I did in the moment. It was the best I could do to keep myself safe. And now what can I do starting today in order to continue to move forward to heal? So don't play the game of what if. What if those worst case scenarios and then what if related to those regrets? It doesn't serve you right now in the moment, it doesn't serve you in the gift of today that you've had. It doesn't serve you in your healing as you process everything that you've went through. So that's my message for today. No what if games.